say he's assured me of yeah. his full support. I think it makes us sound like we're very much together and buddies and agreeing on bombing everybody. Well, in that case, I'd leave out the paragraph. You wouldn't even say you communicated it? I wouldn't say I communicated it. So what do you think? I, I would... Well, have you been able to talk to him? No. Not well, yet, but I'd, I'd leave the paragraph out. You've talked up above about the leaders of both parties, and it seems to me that's the strong point. Now, the trouble is, he's going to be calling in about 9.30. Well, I'd keep talking to him. I'm trying to talk to him, all right, but but I don't think I'd refer to it in the state. What would you do, just wait until after, talk to him until uh, he's out on a boat and they're going to get him? Or would you talk to him as soon as he gets in and tell him I'm going to make a statement, want him to know about it, and then not refer to it? That's exactly what I'd do, Mr. President. I tried to talk to him before I made it, but I wouldn't refer to having talked to him. And if the purpose of talking to him would be to stop any opposition from him. And if you did that, I think you accomplished your purpose. You don't have to tie him into your statement. I think it's better not to, don't you? Yes. Now, what's delayed it so? Just the, the limitations of time, Mr. President. We ask an awful lot of them. They said initially they could do it. But uh, it's proven now that they couldn't. They had to brief the crews and load the aircraft with specific types of weapons for these particular targets, and it took more time than they anticipated. Now, when they leave the carrier at 10, how long does it take them to get over the, the target? The last time over the target will be two hours from then, we believe. The oh. Which would be about 12 o'clock our time. The first planes over the Well, target, do we want to give them two hours notice? I don't believe there's any reason not to, Mr. President. I don't think there's any serious problem in that. Better check that, Bob. I did. I just talked to uh, Admiral Sharp about it. He, he did not want this particular sentence read, the one I'm suggesting be taken out, uh, prior to the time they get over the targets. Well, then won't they get this simultaneously almost? They'll get the, the uh, statement simultaneously, but they won't know what targets are being attacked. Well, uh, Looks like he'd think that uh, they would hit the, where those boats are coming from. And looks well, like they might get out there some anti-aircraft gun. I sure as hell hate to have some mother say, you announced it and my boy got killed. I don't think there's much damage uh, or much uh, danger of that, Mr. President. How late would you be willing to hold the state? I just, uh, I guess we could hold it till 11 o'clock news. I don't know. We don't have to make it, do we? 
Oh, I think uh, I think you need to make some kind of a statement of this kind because tomorrow morning will be too late. Something will have to be on the news tomorrow morning. It ought to come from you. Well, let's see how it goes along. Uh, right, he's I'll told you, though, he's going to launch him at 10. That's right. That takes him two hours to get over the target. Well, the launch will take place over a period of time, and the last aircraft launched is estimated to be over the target at two hours after launch. launch. Well, what do you think the first one will be? The first one ought to be over the target within an hour after launch, but the radar of the North Vietnamese should pick up the first aircraft uh, a few minutes after launch. So say 10.30 our time, the North Vietnamese would be aware of uh, uh, attacking aircraft coming in. So that'd be all right then. So I would think so then. If you did it at 10.30, you could make the 11 o'clock news. Okay, thank you. Right up.